every seller has a story. I'm Georgia Mampanis, and welcome to our newest episode of the eBay Seller Spotlight Podcast, where each month we spotlight sellers with a story to share with us. Our guest this episode is waiting in the green room, but before we bring them out, I wanted to talk more about our biggest seller event of the year, eBay Open 2023. The event kicks off with our in-person eBay Open Studio celebrations on September 26, taking place in Atlanta, Chicago, Philadelphia, Phoenix and virtual event taking place from September 27th to the 29th. Join over 10,000 sellers for insights, trends, and access to training sessions, seller-led sessions, category breakouts, aspiring keynotes, networking opportunities, and so much more. We've also got a few other surprises up our sleeves, including a sponsor expo, free eBay swag, and many, many ways to celebrate being a small business owner on eBay. General registration begins August 1st. We cannot wait to see you there. Speaking of hearing from fellow sellers, our guest this episode has not one, not two, but three jobs, four if you include being a father, one of which is a successful shoe business on eBay. Welcome, Dexter Bowling Jr. Hey, Jordan. How are you doing today? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm excited to enjoy the Friday. Tell us about your business. What do you sell? Well, my business is a shoe biz. We are currently a privately owned and operated e-commerce store, so we're operating out of the D.C. metro area. Originally, I started selling hype releases, mostly retro Air Jordans, but I've now expanded into selling all types of athletic shoes, ranging from distance running, basketball, and even casual wear, just to to name a few. In addition to this, soon we'll be looking to move into like selling additional raw and graded Pokemon cards. So that's a little bit about my my business. So when did you start selling? I started officially selling on eBay, uh, like many others, during the COVID pandemic. I made my very first sale in January of 2021. Uh, there were a, a hype pair of shoes that came out right before Christmas. Can I ask what they are? They were Air Jordans because that's a, that's kind of like what my passion was at the time. And um, I, I was able to grab a pair and uh, thankfully and I was able to you know put, put it on eBay and it sold. And from there, I, just, I have never looked back. What were you doing before you started selling? Before I started selling on eBay, I spent a lot of time actually buying real estate. So those and uh, learning other ways of making residual income. This, of course, working into cybersecurity and uh, just finding other hobbies. And, you know, next thing you know, it's like being an entrepreneur and now making it to eBay is what's brought me here. When did your interest in sneakers stem from? Well, my love and my interest for sneakers really stems from my love of basketball. As a kid, I learned early how the sport transformed the culture and style. So some of the greatest moments in basketball history can actually be recognized from a pair of shoes. So on top of that, you have greats like Michael Jordan, you know, Kobe Bryant, rest in peace, and now LeBron James were kind of like setting the precedent and setting the tone by their being you know, entrepreneurs and also inventors coming out with new fashions, new styles. And what you see is the impact on the youth today. And I think you know that's really a good way of communicating with the younger people today. And how have you seen that trend expand throughout the years? Uh, Social media, honestly. So now social media is really big. That's been the biggest avenue. Um, But on top of that, really just kind of as a kid growing up, you know, your taste kind of grew with your age. And I think that I I started to see it as I went out more, started to travel more. I'm from a a small town in Lynchburg, Virginia, and I moved up to like the DMV area. So it was just like a change of pace, change of scenery, and just a change of uh, the way that people wear clothing and more importantly, wear their shoes. So yes, it's definitely transferred a lot. Yeah, I feel like the older I get, the more I just care about comfort and versatile. I'm not going to get like something super hype that I can only wear with a certain outfit. I get that. So uh, three jobs, four if you count being a father. (laughs) Tell me about those jobs. You know, you mentioned GMV, you were selling real estate. I I don't even know where to start. It's kind of like, which hat do I want to talk about today? But um, but honestly, you know, I'm just a regular person, right? So you know one of them for sure. Well, you know what's, what's brought me here, but during the day, I currently work as a cybersecurity professional in the private sector. In addition to that, I'm also a military reservist. As far as uh, my transferable skills, there are quite a few that most notably I would talk about. It's kind of like building relationships, active listening, as well as um, attention to detail. So those things are, are things that transfer and transition between all the jobs. And those are things that I kind of help represent to what I bring on eBay today with Shubis. What does your day to day look like trying to juggle all these? So it's actually pretty busy. So normally it starts off with the morning. I do, I do a, a daycare drop off. So I'm a very involved dad. Every morning I do daycare drop off. Once I am done with that, I come back home. I do work remote. I have all my setups in my office. And as you see behind me, all my eBay related items. But during the day, I am uh, online working remote. I am, uh, again, working in the private sector. So we work for customers and, you know, just being able to provide our expertise. 
I specialize in uh, malware reverse engineering. So I do a little bit of cybersecurity extra work. But then once my day is done, the computer closes roughly about between 4.30, 5 o'clock. And I'm a dad until 7.30, 8 o'clock at night. And actually, I go to the gym after that. So that's uh, wow. that's how my typical day looks. But I love being a, a father, but also more importantly, just kind of being involved. That like I feel like that each part of my of life that I like to give the best I can. And I think that sometimes it does it, it does wear and tear. But I think at the end of the day, I'm, I'm more excited about the outcome that comes from it. Right now, you're so young, but is this something that you see yourself doing long term, having to juggle all three, or do you know want to tone it down one day? Uh, that's actually a great question. So now I feel like there's a big shift in the way the culture is today. So instead of being really isolated to just one, I actually I don't mind all three, right? Because they're all different, you know. And b- bringing here, coming, having this conversation is just as important as what I do in my day to day. I think that like the value I bring in, you know, the sneaker reselling. Or just, you know, cybersecurity or even being a dad or in the military that like some forms of life actually transfer others. And I think it really, as far as the juggling, I don't look at it as being different jobs. I just look at it, which hat am I wearing for today, right? So it's like, Mm -hmm. we all have different visions. We have different things that we love. And I think that that's just what makes me up. And as I keep expanding and getting bigger, I never forget where I come from, right? And I think that building relationships and actually being actively involved and having conversations like this are kind of what really motivates me and helps me keep striving to do better. Amazing. You're going to be a really great role model for your kids. So good for you. How do you give back to your community? Community means a lot. Uh, just like family, uh, it means everything because that's what really helped me grow to where I am today professionally and as a person. So I think in the way I give back currently, I do a lot of volunteer activities, whether it's for the Air Force or not for the Air Force. But also, in addition to that, I'm looking to actually, you know, coordinate a shoe drive one day to where I could be able to bless kids with sneakers. So I think that's the real reason why I've been really passionate about it. And now it's more into like, you know, scaling, but more the opportunity of impact, increasing my impact and how far I can reach. And I think I, ideally, I would love to be able to be a resource for the community because we all need shoes, right? And I think when you think real or realize children, you know, a lot of times shoes become very expensive, you grow a lot, and that becomes a cost. If I'm able to even bless someone with the opportunity or even just, you know, establish a relationship to let them know like, hey, you may see this as a cost, but I'm going to see this as like, this is my gift to you to help you, you know, not worry about this and go do your, you know, what you strive to do. That's something I would like to be able to provide. And that's uh, what I'm moving forward to. And when do you see that come into life? Are you in a planning stages or you're kind of just brainstorming it? Honestly, it's a little bit of both. I can say with my professional side, I am actually there, right? As a, you know, African American in cybersecurity, I'm one of the few working in, uh, you know, the intelligence community, but it's here. It's just deciding when to start, right? So it's like the plan is always in place, but when do you execute? And I think it's never a perfect time because like you can plan everything accordingly, but life has its way of just bringing you life. You just have to learn to live it. And so that's what I have to say is that it's ready to go. It's kind of like, when do I want to really pull it and start? But when I'm learning more, it's more about finding out what's best for me and my family. And it's not necessarily about everything else that's surrounding. It's kind of like, what can we manage now? Like, is it okay with my kids being so young or should I wait? Kind of just taking that. It's like a day by day thing. So I'm going to say that I'll keep you waiting on that one. (laughs) Okay. No, I, I honestly, I don't doubt that you're going to do it considering all you two right now. We will we will loop back on that one. Just like yourself, some people do have a full-time job. In your case, multiple. What would you tell potential sellers to encourage them to give eBay a shot as a side hustle? The very first thing I would say is jump. How high? That's great, right? But as humans, we actually enforce, uh, I would say, mental roadblocks for ourselves out of fear of failure and honestly, fear of what we don't know. But in reality, what I've learned through my professional career, through the military, and as a dad, like there's no true success without failure. So over time, you learn how to just feel better, feel smarter. But reality is understanding is the success people see is really built on a lot of failures. And I think even here to where I am today, it took a lot of failures to learn to get to where I am. But it's given me the opportunity to be able to speak on your platform and also be able to hopefully, you know, bring impact to people that I meet later down the road. Main word of advice here is jump. Jump. Amazing. Dexter, where can uh, listeners find you in your store online? To the listeners or uh, anyone that's listening, I appreciate your time and I would enjoy the interview. They'll follow me if you'd like to check out my social media platforms. I could be reached at my personal side. I go by the Malware Hunter with a three instead of the E. So it's Malware Hunter where I do a lot of cybersecurity content. Um, but also my eBay store is Shoebiz. On Instagram, we could be looked up as shoebiz.io. 
or just go to eBay and you can just type in ShoeBiz and that would pull you right to our landing page to where you can see a lot of the cutting edge releases that we have and big things that we're doing in the community. Okay, wait, I'm really intrigued. Your cybersecurity's profile, what is this? What, what kind of content do you share here? As I mentioned earlier, you know, being African-American in cybersecurity is not very many of us, but it's important to kind of show children today that we can be more than just athletes and, and artists, but there is also different career paths that we could bring impact to as well. So for there, I'm building out, we talk about building, but I'm building out a platform, a training platform that really kind of showcases the ins and outs of what I do in my job, that what I can disclose, and then really kind of show that path of why I enjoy it, why I keep doing it, and just kind of paint the picture that like, if I can do it coming from you know nowhere, that anyone can do it and that same opportunity is afforded to them. Amazing. You're such an inspiration. Thank you so much for being here today, Dexter. I really appreciate it. It was very thoughtful of you guys to reach out to me and uh, I thought twice about it and I, I thought that this would be a, a great opportunity to number one, meet you all again, thank, thank eBay again, because I feel like that a lot of this is, um, you know, just eBay just really showing how being an entrepreneur and having that spirit is really what um, they're empowering. And I think that's really important, especially with today's society and how things run. Well, we will, we'll be in touch, but I hope you have a lovely weekend. Thank you. And you as well. Dexter Bowling Jr. sells on eBay under the store name ShoeBiz. Support his small business by shopping from him for all your sneaker needs. We hope you'll join us on our next episode where we'll shine the spotlight on another seller with an amazing story to share. I'm your host, Georgia Mampanis. Jim Griffith is our editor-in-chief. The eBay Seller Spotlight Podcast is produced by Lipson and Podcast 411.